Hey guys, Kenrock up here. Welcome back to another custom minifig Lego video. Back at it again. With another one. I guess you could say we're at it. Back again. Back at it again. Again with the back at it. Back. Okay, enough of that bull crap. So, <laughs> we're back with another custom Lego minifig video. It's been a while <clears throat> uh, since I've done one of these. So, um, I don't have as many figures as I usually do, and they're not really in the same format that I do. I usually have like eight figures or so. Today I only have two, but they have like different um, variations, different outfits, I guess you could call them. Um, so, that's what I did. Um, this is my Lego stand for now, because this is all I really have. Um, uh, pretty sure I said this in the last minifig video, but I'm going to say it again anyway. Um, the, uh, Lego stand that I was using before broke. So, this is what I have. Uh, I hope it's okay, uh, because this is what I have to work with, um, but anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a couple of Dragon Ball Z figures, because uh, I like making those. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Vegeta and Goku. Uh, of course, this isn't the first time we've done this, but um, these are different variations, so I thought it would be cool. Um, so, here is, uh, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super. Um, pretty much everything is the same. Um, uh, the design and everything on the torso and legs is exactly the same. The hairpiece is exactly the same. But the face here is new. Uh... Also, well, obviously it's new because the old Dragon Ball Z figures I did were just the standard Lego skin color being yellow. Um, that's inaccurate, so I wanted to make them in flesh. So, some of these are remakes, um, like this is just basically a remake of that Vegeta. Um, but, aside from that, we also have this Vegeta from the Majin Buu saga so we just give him that hair piece and he's looking pretty cocky there it's a different expression than this one so you could switch the heads out if you want um, that's pretty cool uh, this is pretty plain there's not really any customization going on with the body just uh, regular Lego bricks and the custom face so that's all that there is for that um, but take the hairpiece off we can get our other Vegeta which is uh, just sort of all around armor Vegeta this is what he wears pretty much 24 7 so let's pop the hairpiece on that uh, this is the same face I used earlier by the way I just popped it off this body um, so, there he is. Nothing too crazy, just his normal suit. Uh, it's pretty easy to throw together. Obviously, arms and legs aren't really customized at all, it's just the torso. So, nothing big going on with that. So, that's everything we have for Vegeta. Uh, so we're going to start getting into Goku now. So here's Goku. Um, the arms obviously are weird, as you can see. This one has markings on it, and this one doesn't. Um, kind of just threw this one together. Torso is exactly the same as it was. Still using that police hat as hair for Goku, because that's the closest thing that I have uh, to match his hairstyle. And, uh, yeah. The only thing new with this guy much like the Dragon Ball Super Vegeta 
is his face. So you can see his face is on there, and he's got some added bangs. I can't really see it when you push the hat down all the way, but I guess if you wanted to see those, you just leave the hat on slightly loose, and you can see him a little bit. Um, other than that, there's nothing special about this one. It's just the head. All this has been reused. Then we have the Dragon Ball Super Goku. Um, same thing here. Uh, the uh, torso is being reused from my last um, Dragon Ball Super Goku. Only thing new here is the face. Uh, you see he's a bit more stern. And of course you could just replace these faces if you want. Whoops. Um... But yeah, you could just replace the faces, just switch them out if you wanted to. Uh, put the hat on. There you go for that. Um, so yeah. Um, he will. You still have the uh, the Super Saiyan hair, so you could just pop that on if you want to, like so. So now he's Super Saiyan. Uh, Whoop. Flip. Camera, if you could please. Okay, here we go. Um, you could also use Super Saiyan hairpiece for Vegeta. So, there he is with that. Um, but, yeah. That's pretty much it for that. Um,. Before, when these were the yellow skin tone, uh, I had a custom torso uh, that was shirtless for Goku. So I decided I was going to do that again. Just uh, redo it. The design is exactly the same. Um, it's just in the skin. Uh, more skin color accurate now. So there's that torso. Um, of course you can see I didn't really have flesh tone so I had to use tan for the body but I don't think it looks too bad um, I didn't do anything for the uh, the arms because I don't know if I'm ever going to reuse those arms because I tend to reuse a lot of parts so yeah uh, yeah, just wanted to, uh, do that because I thought it was, uh, necessary, being I did it on the last version. Overall, I think my favorite Goku is this Super Goku, and I think my, uh, my favorite Vegeta is the Busaga Vegeta here. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this video because that's about it. Um, if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below to make sure that I know that you did. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.